hello guys welcome back to my video so if you have not subscribed please subscribe and turn on the notification bell on so that you do not miss any of my videos so today i'm going to introduce you to probability so the probability the probability of an event is a measure of the likelihood that it will happen and it is given on a numerical scale from zero up to one so what happens with probability is that the value of zero a value of zero in probability means that something does not happen and a value of one that is the maximum chance that something will happen this is definite that something will happen so so let's for so let's say for equally likely outcomes for equally likely outcomes uh, the probability so for equally likely outcomes the probability the probability is the number of successful outcomes so the probability is the number of successful outcomes divided by the number divided by the number of possible outcomes by the number of possible outcomes uh, so let's say we have a f fair coin so we have a fair coin let's say one side of the coin is the head and then the other side of the coin is the tail so we have a fair coin so the number of possible outcomes in, in this case sorry this is there's a head and the tail the number of possible outcomes in this case is two that's the number sorry So, in this case, for our fair coin, the number of possible outcomes the number of possible outcomes is two the number of possible outcomes in this case is two since we have a head and a tail. but what's the number of a successful outcome? So let's say what's the number? what's the highest number of us successfully obtaining a head so then the maximum number of us successfully obtaining a head is equal to one since we have one head in this case since our coin is one head and one tail but in, the, in this case we have one one head so what's the probability of us getting a head so let's say what's the probability of us getting a head in this case it's one since the highest number of of getting the, the highest number of getting a head is one since we have one head over the total number of possible outcomes so that means that the probability for us to get a head is equal to 0 0.5 so that means that there is a 50 chance that we'll get a head so that means that if we if we toss a coin, there is a fifty chance that we we'll get a head, and another fifty chance that we can get a tail, since probability adds up to one. So probability adds up to one. So if you want to calculate the probability for a tail, is equal to we subtract one minus zero point five, which is the probability of us getting a head, then we we'll get the probability of us getting a tail, which is zero point five. In this case so that's the formula for probability I hope you understood what is probability so I'm just going to give you another example let's say we have a fair we have a fair dice with six sides we have a fair dice with six sides so let's say we have a fair dice with six sides so if you play snake if you play snakes and ladders then you know what a dice is so a dice is one side of the dice is one the other side is two, the other side is three, the other side is four, the other side is five, and the other side is six. So in this case, what's the number of possible outcomes? So in this case, we have six possible outcomes. Since if we throw a dice, we can we can either get a one, 
or we can either get a two, we can either get a three, we can either get a four, we can either get a five, or we can either get a six. So the number of possible outcomes in this case. So the number of possible outcomes in this case is six. But what is the what is the number of successfully obtaining a one? So in this case, the number of successfully obtaining a one. Let's say number of success fully obtaining a one is equal to one. Since we have six sides, we have six sides, and there is we have, we have six possible outcomes. But what is the problem? What is the number of successfully obtaining a one? That's one. And what's the, uh, the number for successfully obtaining a two also? It's also one. So in this case, the probability, so in this case, the probability of us getting a one is equal to one over six. And also the probability for us getting a two is close to one over six. A probability of us getting a three is close to one over six and then the probability of us getting a four is also equal to one over six and the probability of us also getting a five is also equal to one over six and the probability of us getting a six is equal to one over six so if we add if we add these total out outcomes if we add these total outcomes let's say total outcomes that's 1 over 6 plus 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 1 over 6 then the total probability is 1 so always the total probability is also is always equal to 1 so now i am going to introduce you to to the not notation for probability so let's say let's say the set of all possible outcomes is called the possibility space the, the possibility space so set of all possible outcomes is called the possibility space so this is the the set of all possible outcomes in this case if we throw a die we have six possible outcomes so the possibility space which we represent by capital letter s the the possibility space which we represent by s is the is the set of all possible outcomes so in this case this is the possibility space one two three four five and then six since these are the are all the possible outcome po possible outcomes and then let's say an event a of of the experiment is defined to be a subset of s so an event A of the experiment so an event A of the experiment is defined to be a subset so it's defined to be a subset of S so in this case let's say an event of the experiment let's say the event of obtaining a one so in this case a is equal to one so as you can see one is a subset one is a subset of s since one since s contains one that means that a is a subset of of s a is a subset of s so so let's say what's the probability of a so in this case 
the probability of A is equal to the number of elements in event A over the number of elements in subset. Yeah, sorry, number of elements in the possibility space. So, as you can see, what is the number of elements in A in this case? The number of elements of A in this case is one, since we have one element. And the number of elements in the possibility space, these are six, since, since we have six elements. So that's the probability of A in this case is one over six. Is one over six. So I just wanted you to be familiar with this notation. So, or the other thing is we can represent, uh, we can also represent we can also represent what I talked about previously using a event diagram. So we can represent this using a event diagram. So in this case, if we have a Venn diagram, this is the possibility space set S. So this is the possibility space set S. And then we have event A. So we have event A. This is the event A, which is a subset of S. As you can see, uh, this set A is contained in S. So the number of outcomes in the possibility space, in this case, uh, the number of outcomes, so just say outcomes, outcomes in possibility space S let's say S, is denoted by, we denote it by the number of elements in the, in the possibility space S, number of elements. And then also the number of outcomes in event A is denoted by the number of elements in the set A. So number out, so event, event A in this case is also denoted by the number of elements in the subset A in the subset A. So in this case, the probability, the probability also in this case, the probability of A, in this case, as I have talked about previously, is equal to the number of elements in A over the number of elements in S. So that's the probability. That's the probability. So in this case, A is a subset of S. So let me just get rid of this. So we know that A is a subset of S. And then we know that 0 is less than or equal to the number of elements in A. And we, we know that A cannot be bigger than the, subs, than the possibility space. We know that. That's impossible. Because let's say if we have... Uh, cannot be bigger than... It's either it's less than or it's equal than 2. So let's say in the case of a, of a dice, let's say the... The, the event of obtaining a one, the event of obtaining a one, the number of elements in the in the event A will be one, and then we know that one will be greater than zero, but at the same time it's less than the number of elements in the possibility space, which is which is six. So that it's something like this. It will be like this. Since we know that this is greater than zero, at the same time it's less than six, which is the total number of elements in the subset. So we know that we know this. So if we divide this throughout by by the number of elements in the subset, number of elements in the subset, here it remains zero. And then we know that here it becomes the probability of A, since if you remember, we, we say that the probability of A was equal to the number of elements in A over the number of elements in the subset. So if we divide this by... Uh, so to, to, to avoid confusion, let me just do it. So not to confuse you guys, let me just do it like this. So we said 0 
was less than or equal to number of elements in subset A, which was less than or equal to uh, number of elements in the in the possibility space. So if you divide by if you divide both sides by the number of elements in the possibility space, number of elements in the possibility space, number of elements in the possibility space, something like this. Of which we know that the probability of A in this case, probability of A is equal to num number of elements in event A over number of elements in the possibility space S. So if you know that if we divide zero, it will remain zero. And then this, this is similar to this. So this will give us the probability of A, which is less than or equal to, to one. So this, this just tells us that the probability of A is greater than or equal to zero. So the probability can be equal to zero or greater than zero. And then the probability of A is less than or equal to one. So this means that the probability of A does not exceed one. So the maximum value of the probability of A, so the max, P max probability of A is equal to one. That's the maximum value of the probability of A. And then the minimum value of P probability of A is equal to zero. So that's what this means. So, and then there are some events that are called the complementary events. So, so complementary events. So let's say uh, complementary event A Complementary event A, which is denoted as A. So this denotes that A does not okay. So this means that A does not okay. So this denotes that event A does not okay. So does not okay. So th this does th this event doesn't happen. So to find the number of elements in a complement is equal to the number of elements in the possibility space minus the number of elements number of elements in the event of a. So we know that to find the number of events that A does not okay. We, we have to subtract the possibility space by the number of events that A okays. So if we divide both sides, if we divide both sides by the possibility space, the number of elements in the possibility space, uh, we'll get the probability of event A not occurring is equal to 1 minus the probability that event A occurs. So this is probability. So let's say we have let's say let's say let me give you a, an example. So let's say we have a dice, we have a fair dice, and then what is the probability? What is the probability that the event 1 over 6? Sorry. sorry, I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that. That's a mistake. So in this case, what's the probability that 1? What's the probability that we do not obtain a 1? So if you remember, if we throw a dice, the possibility space is we have these are the total number of elements in the dice. So in this case, what's the probability that one does not okay? So we know that the probability that one occurs in this case is equal to one over six. But what is the probability that one, the event one does not okay? So the probability that event one does not okay is equal to one, the total number of elements in the possibility space. We know that the total probability, oh sorry, it's equal to the total probability in the possibility space is 1 minus 1 over 6. So 
The probability that one does not, the event one does not okay when you throw a dice is 5 over 6. That's what pro complementary probability means. So, I hope you guys understood the, the basics of, of probability. So, in the next in the next videos, I'll be talking about more, more theories of probability, independent probability, mutual exclusive events, and conditional probability. So if you find this video useful, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell on so that you don't miss any of my videos. And also share this video with your friends so that we can help out more people. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.